Hello, lovely witches. This is Dawn from Aurora Dawn. And things look a little bit different because I'm not using my phone to record this because the it kept making a jittery kind of video and it thought that was kind of annoying. So anyway, I am using my laptop, which doesn't come out that great, but it will work. You can see me still. Okay, so welcome to my channel thank you for stopping by this is another episode of witchy wisdoms wednesdays and that is a collaboration of seven different witches we pick a topic and we each make a video discussing that topic so you get seven different views and we've got quite a mixture of witches in our group so it can be really interesting this week's topic is um Practical banishment. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is a little wonky, but we'll get through it. Okay. So I'll leave um, a link to everybody's uh, channel so you can go look at their videos because I'm sure they're all going to be very interesting and I can't wait to watch everybody else's. Okay. So first off, I want you to know that I am a certified spiritual life coach. I went through um, a program at uh, Holistic Learning Centers, and they certified me. And uh, I, so my expertise, I guess, is shadow work. So this banishment that I'm going to show you is one that I use for myself. And when this is when I feel like my toxic subconscious beliefs, the self-limiting self beliefs, start really taking over and just messing with my you know, what I really want to manifest. So what I do to get a grip is do some shadow work. And uh, this is a banishment that I use to banish my, those toxic beliefs, okay? So really, it's simple. Um, you do need to uh, surface your toxic beliefs, and it's best to get to the root, which sometimes takes a life coach to help you get there. But most of the time, you can just banish whatever you see is in your life and you don't like it, okay? So write those down, though. It's very important to write it down. Of course. Okay, where was I? So here is my book of shadows. And in it, I have my toxic beliefs. Now, if you've taken the Self Mastery for Witches class course, you know, you recognize this. This is part of the ABCD, uh, which is the last class in the course. But this is the top line is my toxic belief. The second line is my positive belief that I'm replacing it with. And I used a pendulum to figure out to make sure that the wording was the most effective uh, possible so that it will really impact my subconscious programming, my thinking, um, okay? So what I'm gonna do is a simple banishment where I take each one of the toxic beliefs one at a time, and I'm gonna use my wand and go into my third eye and pull out that energy of that toxic belief and put it into a bowl of water. So that is, um, last time I did this, I bawled like a baby. It, it was just a very emotional, very cleansing, and very powerful ritual. And it's so simple, there's, there's hardly anything to it. But basically, um, the idea is to pull that energy out and put it into the bowl of water to trap it. You want to trap it and get it all out and trap it in the bowl of water. And then, you neutralize it. For me, uh, opening my windows and shooing out the negative energy out the window is kind of irresponsible because where is it going to go? So I want to neutralize any energy that's toxic so that I can transform it and use it for blessings or for manifesting things that I need or want or for healing and so on and so forth. So that's that's my thing. That's what I do. Okay. Get out of the way here. So what I have set up here is a bowl I got from the Dollar Tree. So it's only a dollar. Uh, it's black, which I like because it's I can use it for scrying. But it's um it's for me it works great for shadow work. So I'm gonna put water, moon water, into the bowl. 
All right, so then once I've done that, and then I can proceed. I'm just gonna do the first toxic um, uh, belief. So you kind of get an idea of what I'm doing, what I'm talking about. So first thing I'm gonna do is to pray over this water and call upon it to trap the toxic energy of my subconscious beliefs, okay? I bless this water with pure love and light and pure source energy. And I call upon this water, this moon water, to trap any toxic energy that I pull out of myself, my subconscious mind, and trap it in the bowl of water. Thank you. Okay, so now I use my wand and to prep my wand, I like to use a little bit of, uh, um, you can use rosemary oil or you could use what I like is frankincense and just stroke the wand in the direction that you want the energy to flow. So it's gonna pull this energy and then push it into the bowl, okay? So the first, Toxic belief, I need to be powerless to be safe. So I focus on that energy. What does that feel like? It feels really nasty, ugly. And it's important to do this, to pay attention, to bring attention to the toxic energy. How does it feel? What is it, what is behind it? Um, and, and I know the backstory, you know, where this can, comes from. So I really tune into it and then I can focus on it coming up into my third eye, pull it out, and then I put it into the bowl of water, okay? And I keep doing this until I get to the end. And once I'm done, I put my wand away. The next thing to do, that, which is so very important after you banish, whether you banish a spirit or just toxic energy, or, you know, maybe you want to get rid of debt, so you banish debt. Whenever you banish anything, you want to bless in return to backfill because it creates something like a vacuum of energy. So you want to bring that back, that energy back in to fill in with good positive energy. So I'm going to neutralize this energy that's in this bowl and then it can be released into uh, the universe to be taken in and done with whatever is most, most appropriate. Um, but for right now, I am going to do something that is, I'm going to bless myself, and then I'm going to do something called um, nurturing my own emotional needs. So I'm going to place my hands on my head. I bless myself with pure love and light and pure source energy. Say that two more times. And then I feel that blessing. I can feel lightness, I can feel happiness, joy, and then I visualize my higher self, whatever way she looks to me, the way, whatever way she appears to me is right and good. And then I go and sit in her lap like a little child. I am small and I sit in her lap and she holds me. And she says to me, little Dawn, and you can put your own name in there. Little Dawn, I am so glad you were born. You are doing so well. You are growing and maturing. You're becoming stronger and stronger. I want you to know, Little Dawn, that even though so many people have abandoned you over your life, I will never leave you. I am always here to keep you safe and to make you feel loved. I will always love you unconditionally. So on and so forth. You keep going. And then you take a deep breath and thank you and just release. And that is the way I banish my subconscious beliefs. And then I would go back through in a meditative state and put in, read all of the positive beliefs that I am using to reprogram my subconscious mind. Okay, so that's it, quick and simple. Um, I hope this inspires you. I hope you appreciate this and enjoy it. Please leave me comments, your thoughts and ideas. 
and do something today that brings you joy and makes you feel good. I love you all. And until next time, blessed be.